Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you may remember the video series I did last summer, where I tracked my progress during 8 weeks of WordTalk vertical jump training. And that was just absolutely awesome, as I increased my vertical jump by 8 inches and finally learned how to dunk. So, big surprise, I'm a huge fan of WordTalk. But there is another very popular vertical jump program out there, and it's called the Jump Manual. And since last summer, I've been getting lots of questions from guys who were trying to decide whether they should buy the workshop program or the jump manual. And because of that, I decided to shoot this video to tell you about the similarities and differences between the two programs. As I mentioned before, I did 8 weeks of workshop last summer myself, but I also own the jump manual. I think I bought it like 4 years ago, but unfortunately never made it through the complete program because of a stupid and totally unrelated knee injury I suffered back then. But I think I know enough about both programs and vertical jump training theory in general to make a fair comparison and help you guys to decide which program will be best for you. Alright, let me start by giving you a short introduction of both programs. The jump manual started in 2008 as a series of YouTube videos where Jacob Hiller just talked about what he had learned after years of trying to improve his own vertical jump. These videos proved to be so popular that he created an 80 page ebook filled with all of his vertical jump knowledge. However, if you plan to do the jump manual, make sure you have enough free time, because 3 months of 5 workouts per week is a pretty big time commitment. Alright, let me log into the membership section to show you how the jump manual really looks like. So on the left, you basically have the different chapters of the jump manual. In the essential variables of explosiveness, you learn about the different factors that play into the vertical jump. There's more chapters and a ton to read, so if you want, you can really learn a lot about vertical jump training theory from the jump manual. However, if you are not a big reader and you just want to check out the workouts, you go to the max explosion workout, scroll down a bit and there you have the workout chart. You can also get a better explanation and videos of each exercise by clicking on it. Um, let's see Jacob do the six X. And as you can see, a new window pops up with a pretty small video. The quality is alright, but nowadays you could make a better looking video with every cell phone. The exercises range from plyometric exercises like the six sacks or the jump rope to strength exercises like squats or deadlifts. Overall, I like the fact that the jump manual offers a lot to read about vertical jump training theory. However, you can definitely see that the jump manual hasn't aged all that well. The resolution of videos is rather low, the website is not very mobile friendly and I would have loved if there is a way to easily print the workout chart or load it to your cell phone. Alright, uh, let's move on to the WorldShock training. WorldShock is a lot newer than the jump manual. It was created in 2014 by Adam Falker, a Division 1 basketball player who also played professionally in Europe. The workouts were created together and also inspired by one of the best dunkers in the world. Justin Just Fly Darlington. The workshop program is 4 weeks shorter than a jump manual and lasts for only 8 weeks. However, you will also be doing on average 5 workouts per week. Let's also take a look into the membership section of WordShock. Again, similar to the jump manual, you have the navigation on the left side. If you want to check out the workouts, you just select for example the shock phase. Then you are greeted by a video of Adam who will explain the goal of this phase of the workouts. You can also take a look at a PDF with the workout charts here and print it or just send it to your phone. If you are not familiar with one of the exercises, there is a video for each exercise where Adam explains them in great detail. What I especially like about these videos is that Adam not only shows the exercise, but he tells you exactly how to do it. He shows some common errors and also talks about the idea behind this specific exercise. In contrast to the jump manual, WordShock focuses heavily on advanced plyometric exercises and less on strength. This has a nice side effect that the average workout can be done in only 45 minutes and you don't need a gym membership. Overall, I like the WordShock side a bit more than the jump manual. And that's because of the shorter workouts, the better videos and the easily downloadable and portable workout sheets. However, I feel that WordShop could offer a bit more theoretical background on general vertical jump training. Alright, now that you have a good idea about how both programs look like, let's find out which of the two is actually best for you. And in order to explain this, I want to take a step back. If you want to really dumb it down, 
the height of a vertical jump comes down to two main factors, strength and quickness. For the average athlete, the vertical jump will be mostly a product of strength. Now when you think of an athlete with strong legs, you probably imagine barbell squats, heavy leg press and stuff like that. But even a completely untrained person has legs that are incredibly strong. Now think about it, the legs have to move around our complete body weight all day. If you had to walk on your hands all day, I can guarantee you that you would have pretty strong upper arms and shoulders. Alright, so leg strength, even in an untrained athlete, is usually at least decent. But the other factor of the vertical jump, the quickness. In this specific case, the ability to use our legs explosively to jump as high as possible is oftentimes completely underdeveloped. So, if you want to improve your vertical jump, you have to decide. Do you want to focus on strength or quickness? And if you take a look at the two poster boys of WordShock and the jump manual, you can easily see what each program emphasizes. Obviously, Jacob Pillar has spent a lot of time in the gym and has really maximized his strength. This is also reflected in the workouts of the jump manual. While there still is plyometric training, the focus is clearly on strength with exercises like squats, deadlifts and ham curls. And there are advantages to these exercises. They build a great base of strength and this will eventually help your vertical jump. However, some problems I see are that these exercises are difficult to perform. You should really know how to do them or have a great trainer who can teach you proper form. Done wrong, you can really hurt yourself. Also, while these exercises provide improvements in the long term, if you want to improve your vertical jump in the next four weeks, starting to squat today will not do much for you. WordShock on the other hand focuses on quickness with a lot of different advanced plyometric exercises. These exercises will improve your strength too, but they especially teach your body how to use strength it already has in a much more efficient way. Every athlete has a huge amount of untapped potential, which can be unlocked by these plyometric exercises. Also, plyometrics are much more beginner friendly compared to heavy weightlifting. And another point which was really important to me, plyometric training does not require a gym. So you can do these exercises everywhere you want, you just need a basketball and something like a park bench to perform box jumps. But you have to be careful. If you do too much of these plyometric exercises, you are in danger of overtraining, which could actually decrease your vertical. Alright, so which program is actually going to deliver the best results for you? Let's take a look at the effects of WordShock and the jump manual on an average athlete who has still a lot of room for improvement on his vertical. Before the training, most of his vertical jump will depend on the strength of his legs. If he were to do the jump manual, he would work about equally hard on both his strength and his quickness. Gains from strength training take time, so he would gain a bit of jump height by improving his strength and also a bit by improving his quickness. Compare that to the impact of WordShock. The complete focus on training your quickness leads to a drastic improvement in a very short time. So, unless you already are an expert jumper with a vertical that's close to 40 inches or more, I would recommend you to do the WordShock training, because you will see better results from it. The advanced plyometric exercises of WordShock allow your central nervous system to recruit more muscle fibers at the same time. This means you will be able to build up force much more rapidly and therefore jump much higher than before. Improving your quickness has also the great advantage that it can be done in a much shorter time frame than improving your strength and because of this most athletes will see quicker and more impressive gains from the WordShock training. I think I gained over 5 inches in the first 4 weeks of the training. So if you need to impress the coach in the upcoming tryouts or you are looking for fast improvements, then WordShock is for you. Another point in favor of the WordShock training, you don't need any experience with weightlifting. This makes the program much more accessible to beginners and also much easier to complete. But let's say you are familiar with squats and deadlifts and you really want to include strength training in your workouts. Well. Adam has recently added a new workout plan to WordShock, which he calls the Complex Training Techniques. This workout is for everybody who has finished the WordShock training and wants to improve his vertical even further. Similar to the jump manual, these workouts include strength training and Olympic weightlifting exercises. So even if you want to work on your strength, WordShock has you covered. Alright guys, so I really think that WordShock is the best vertical jump program currently available online. And if you want to check it out yourself, I have a nice tip for you. There is a free WordShop ebook by Adam Falco where he teaches you some awesome vertical jump hacks. Stuff like stretches that can improve your vertical instantly or tips on how to improve your vertical jump technique to gain inches that way. 
It's a really cool little ebook, so make sure to check it out. I have added a link to the description where you can download it for free. Okay guys, I think that's it for today. I hope you have learned a whole lot about vertical jump training in this video. As always, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible. Bye!